Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create custom or user defined exception in Java as well as we'll discuss about the usage of throw keyboard. Already in our previous video, we have discussed the usage of try catch, finally keyboard and throws keyboard. In case if you haven't watched that video, the link is available in the description. So please watch that videos to get the clear understanding about how to handle exceptions in Java. So now let us get into this video. So first before discussing about user defined exception or custom exception in Java. So first we will understand what is the usage of throw keyboard and then we will go for user defined exception. So let me write a code in a equal to 10 slash 0. So already we are familiar we are sub slash 0 JVM is going to throw arithmetic exception. So I am repeating once again. So if I divide a number by 0 it is going to throw arithmetic exception. I mean JVM is going to throw this exception. Right. So now in case in a particular situation if I want to throw the exception manually so then I will use a keyword throw and the exception object so when you can look at the difference between first line and two line uh, second line so in case of first line we are sub slash by 0, JVM is going to throw the arithmetic exception. But coming to the second line, by using throw keyword, manually I am going to throw the exception. So finally, by using throw keyword, I can throw any type of exception manually. So throw the exception object. So this is the usage of uh, throw keyboard. So friends, I hope we are clear about what is the usage of throw keyboard. And mostly we are using throw keyboard in case of user defined exception. So already we know that Java has so many predefined exceptions. In case in a particular situation, based on my application, I may want to create my own exception and then I have to throw my exception. In that case, I will be going for throw keyboard. So finally, one thing we have to understand very clearly here, by using throw keyboard, I can throw predefined exception as well as I can throw user defined exception. So what is the syntax to throw the exception? Throw keyword and the exception object. The exception object may be a predefined exception or it can be a user defined exception object. Now let us assume that I am going to create one simple uh, user defined exception or custom exception. Let us assume that I have an application, water application. So as we are familiar in case of uh, voting, so the age must be greater than 18. If the age is less than 18, so then the particular age is invalid for vote. So I have so many exceptions in Java, but there is no exception for age. The same way you can take any scenario. The employee salary must be positive value. It cannot be a negative value. So in that case, I may need a 
salary exemption the same way uh, i may accept uh, age as a input age must be positive value age cannot be negative so in that case i need a age exemption so finally based on my application i may want to create my own exemption so now i what i am going to i am just going to create a simple normal class let it be age exemption so now you can look at this uh, class now age exemption is a normal class but my intention is what i want to make this age exception classes exception class so which mean i need to get a property or i need to make a inheritance to inherit a property of exception functionality so what i will do as we are familiar i will be going for inheritor by using extends keyword and as we know already uh, already we are familiar exception is the super class for all the exception so finally here you can see now age exception is getting a functionality from exception class yes exception is a super class for all the exception so which we have already discussed in our uh, try catch video itself so finally by extending this exception class i can make my classes exception class so finally age exception is a type of exception yes it is getting a functionality from exception class with the help of extends or inheritance and in the age exception class i am going to override to string method you can look at my code i am overriding to string method so which mean it is a predefined method from some super class so that's why i am overriding to string is a predefined method from object class as we are already familiar object is a super class for all the classes in java by default each and every class is a child of object class so finally i am overriding this to string method from object class don't forget friend to string is a predefined method from object class and it is written it is uh, you can look at the to string method the written type is string so i need to return some string for example i am going to display i am going to return a string saying that invalid age to old so finally my user defined or custom exception is read so i am repeating the point once again to create our own exception class we need to extends exception to get the functionality of exception and in that class i will be overriding to string method and inside to string method i will return my error message like invalid age to vote or invalid salary or invalid employee id or invalid age for example i am just returning a val uh, returning a error messages invalid age to vote so finally my user defined exception is over so now in the main class let us assume that so this is my main class for water application and just assume that we are accepting age as a input from the user now i am not you using uh, i am not going to take the input from the user i am just hard coding the value i am just initializing the value directly we are already we are familiar we have discussed how to read a input from the user 
by using scanner class in one of our previous video so i am not going to take a input right now but in real time we will be taking input from the user so finally here i am initializing age as 14 so here based on my age i need to perform success as well as failure logic so let me say a success logic if age greater than 80 just assume that inside this if condition we will be writing our success logic uh, based on the water application but right now what i'm going to i'm just making a simple statement with this display you can vote finally this is my success logic yes age is valid one else if the age is not greater than 18 or if the age is less than 18 so then the user cannot vote so now in that case what i have to do i have to throw my age exception object so already we have discussed how to throw our own object i will say throw age exception object You can look at the error message uh, already in our previous video we have discussed checked and unchecked exception you can look at this error message it is forcefully making me to handle this exception so which means by default all the user defined exceptions are checked exception we have to handle it by using try catch or as we discussed in our previous video i can go for throws declaration but right now i'm going to make a try catch to handle this exception here itself i'm going to handle age exception so i will be defining a catch block for age exception and i will use some exception object so e is our exception object and inside this i am going to display my exception object e so finally i am repeating the point once again so first we have created our custom exception or user defined exception called age exception and there we have overridden our two string method and we are returning our error message and in the main business logic part since it's a water application first i will check whether the age is valid or not if the age is valid i will be writing my success business logic else i need to throw my exception my own or my user defined exception so how we will throw throw keyword and the exception object and by default all the user defined exceptions are checked one so which means i have to handle it so that's why i'm coming with try catch you can look at my catch block in the catch block i'm defining age exception i am defining a catch block for or uh, to handle my own exception called age exception and e is some object for age exception and i am displaying that object so that's it friend finally our custom exception is ready so now let us run as per our input it has to come to L spot and it has to throw age exception and it has to display invalid age to vote. Let us verify whether it is throwing our own exception and it is displaying the error message correctly or not. You 
can look at uh, our output it is successfully throwing our own exception and it is displaying a message invalid age to port so if the input is for example a valid age for vote then it has to execute our if part nothing but our success business logic you can see it is saying that you can vote so hope friends we are clear about how to create user defined or custom exception in java and same way so definitely you will get one doubt over here we have overridden a two string method and there we are returning invalid age to vote as a error message right you can look at the main class or the main code i am not invoking this two string method so then definitely we will get a question how this two string method is executing so this two string method i am not invoking automatically which mean it is going to invoke automatically because of object creation so finally because of object creation it is going to execute constructor and then it will execute two string method automatically so don't forget friends two string is a predefined method from object class and this two string two string method will get executed automatically when we are creating a object like constructor so at first it will execute a constructor and then it will execute two string method so how it is displaying this invalid age to what because i am displaying the object so because of this displaying object it is displaying this message since it's a error message i may make it system dot error i mean uh, if it is required you can make it system dot error because it's a error message now let us verify and we'll run the code once again so we will be getting the same output yes we have been modified anything in our code but only thing is it is displaying as a error message maybe it's look like a error message so that's why maybe we can use error instead of out so friends we are clear about the usage of throw keyword in java and how to create our own exception and how to throw our own exception by using throw keyword so thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends